Welcome to Admit It. We got your game in the eSports Hot Topic. Hot Tweet. And the spicy is me. I'm Brody Moore. And I'm Lisa Duan. We're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and most likely argue. But luckily for all of us, there's a mute button that we can each use only once when we want the other person to shut up. I might just use it now. JK. Oh, I'll save it for a good moment. Up. Shout out to you guys, too, in chat. We like it when you call me out for being right and uh, Lisa Duan oh for being God. completely wrong. We know it's going to happen. Let's get into it. Our first story comes at the expense of Fortnite Esports. Surprise, once again. The highest earner in Fortnite Esports, Ghost Bizzle, is making a mockery of the World Cup by winning games without even firing a gun. He qualified for the New York final early on and has already guaranteed himself 50,000 US dollars. As a result, he's using the rest of the qualifying weeks to protest the World Cup's format. As of Saturday, he had already won three games and racked up 52 points. Lisa, Fortnite Esports. Wait, so are Super you professional. telling me that I can be a Fortnite Esports player? Yeah, player? you don't have to do anything. Because I'm horrible at shooting. You just hide that out, camp, and you could win. Oh my god, guys, Fortnite's for me then. This <laughs> is actually fantastic news for people who can shoot in games like me, but actually jokes aside. Sarcasm is, aside, yeah. <laughs> that was our sarcasm, slash S, right there. Like, it is a battle <laughs> royale, yes. so that is one way you could survive in a battle royale. You're pitted against everyone else. It, sure. The whole point is to survive. Do you think this is how it should be? This is the true colors of a BR? I mean, or do we yeah. need to change it so it's all about killing? No, but see, if that's the case, then they should just go play an FPS, like, right? Because if you want just shooting and action like that, then that's an FPS. This is an element of Battle Royale that maybe yeah. they should actually capitalize on. Maybe they should add elements of camouflage. They can add more things that make hiding out a actual, you know, viable well, they, way to you win. You could literally build and you hide. You could become a bush I mean, or whatever, I, right? I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm an aggro person. Like, I can't play, and that's why I actually can't play Shocker. Fortnite. Because I just, I like to go aggro, right? I like to be able to just rely on my ability to shoot. Mm -hmm. um, and Fortnite has a mechanic to go against that, is to be defensive yeah. and to hide. And so building, yeah. I, I honestly can't get mad at this guy for doing this. And I don't know if they should change this. Mm. I kind of want to see a full match <laughs> of like 100 people never shooting a gun. No, but and just who dies to circle first. <laughs> that's But that's all part of the game. It's part of the meta. Like, the great thing about this game is that it's more than just shooting people, right? Like, there's elements of building. There's elements of hiding. There's elements of tracking. There's elements. Mm -hmm. It's so complex that you shouldn't punish someone who don't want to shoot. Like, this is him utilizing his strength. Like, congrats mm -hmm. to him. And I love the fact that he's using it to actually protest yeah. the World Cup. Like, that's... Fantastic. Good job. Okay, this just in. Apparently, he was using throwables, throwables and traps, oh, though. So he's not time. completely off the hook. I want to see you in the next one, though, buddy. Bizzle, make sure you do the whole thing without using anything. Try to get to the end without nothing. Full shizzle, my nizzle. I just want to throw <laughs> yeah, that okay. out there. Oh, You're <laughs> really cool. She's really cool. <laughs> Bringing it back. All right. In other news, it's been reported that Opti Gaming has been bought out by the Immortals Gaming Club. So it looks like Immortals are back in the LCS and they gained the Opti Gaming name and logo. That last part isn't sitting well with some Optic members. Six confirmed members, Create, Maniac, Hitch, Embos, I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, Big Time, <laughs> Flame Sword, have come together to start their own OG brand, naming it, I think, OG, which is... Interesting because there's already a team named OG in Dota. Yeah, there's there's way too. There's Optic Gaming. There's OG. Now there's another OG. Right. There's too. There's too, there's much. too no, many OGs. Yeah. Um. I I don't. This is a weird acquisition because yeah. Optic Gaming has such an incredible uh, fan base behind them, right? The Greenwall, like these guys, they they have such a people will watch mm -hmm. their teams in any esport just because they support. Optic, yeah. so it's it's so weird for them to want to even try to like get rid of that, like to change it to the Immortals. Yeah. You know, I could see, and I think they might do this: is the Immortals might take some of the Optic gaming teams and rebrand them, yeah. and other ones, you know, especially in like Call of Duty and that, mm -hmm. or um, Gears, keep the Optic branding. But yeah. then it gets confusing. Yeah, no, well, like the Optic brand itself is not dying; it just kind of ha like in the back burner while Immortals wants to put out their own mm -hmm. branding, right? But it's interesting that these players are now taking it upon themselves to almost cut themselves off and live. On, the, like, on their own as mm -hmm. former Optic, I guess, gaming. Apparently, OG stands for Old Guard, so they yeah. are kind of calling to you know the old okay. team, which is nice, but it's also really sad um, for yeah. this, for, I guess, the, these players, right? I mean, they, they got a lot of pull. I mean, here's the yeah. thing. is like, they, so their, their claim is that it's not the branding, it's the people that's behind right. it. So they're, they're banking on them having yeah. enough pull, right? Being able to say, okay, we're gonna st start our, our org, we're gonna have our own thing, which everybody seems I to be doing agree, now. Though. Like I all agree. these players, they, they they see what 100 Thieves did, yeah. and they're like, oh, we can do that no, too. I think individual brand is so much bigger than team brands. Like teams are almost made by their players. Like mm -hmm. we even look in traditional sports, like 
Michael Jordan, you know, like he is beyond the team he plays for. Yeah. LeBron, he is beyond the teams he plays for. So like same with Optic, these players there's, are beyond Optic. There's also a sense. thing with it though. It's like, I mean, again, for, for me and like, if, if I look at my respective eSport and, and RL, you know, my favorite team mm -hmm. is C9. Mm -hmm. I love C9 as an org and I'll, I'll watch other eSports and cheer for C9 even if I don't yeah. know that eSport. But those players on C9, if they were to get a different org, I'd still cheer for them because they're amazing players. Yeah. I would still follow the players. That's crazy that right? you would follow a team just because Sports is you so need like you know like temperamental. There's always changes, yeah. so it's hard to follow a specific team, especially when you love a player that's yeah, been a yeah. part of a team, right? So it's kind of hard to follow. I think teams in general. I think you need but, both. But yeah. that's the end of that topic. Next up, some controversy from CS:GO and the ECS. Complexity upset MIBR two to one in their Group B elimination match. However, in the twelfth round, Complexity coach Warden appeared to directly point out an opposing player on Ricky's screen. MIBR's coach Zeus responded, calling out Warden, but also laid blame on the ref for not doing his job. Since the incident, many players and community members have been expressing their dissatisfaction with the refs, pointing to other examples of refs being on their phones. Um, now, the question is, does this, does this fall on the refs specifically, or should there be some sort of competitive integrity that the coaches should be holding themselves to? Yeah, 100% both. Like when I heard the story, I was like, wait, did he actually went up to the screen and like pointed yeah. out and no one else noticed? But obviously not. It was yeah, through yeah. I, I'm, comms. Yeah, I'm thinking through comms. Sorry, I haven't seen it, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm thinking through comms, but the mics should just be shut off at that they point They should be too. shut off. This is definitely a good thing that this is being called out because yeah, what are the refs for if they can't, they're standing <laughs> right there. Yeah, they, that's your job. Yeah, that is literally Admin your job. Uh, I mean, as a coach, honestly, you try to push every advantage you can get. And if you can slip away doing something like that, you know, I, yeah. obviously, you know, obviously it's shady. It's shady. I'm That's not condoning I'm it, but you're gonna try it's to get away. It's a slippery slope, but yeah. now all of a sudden, but it's up to the ref and the league to call this out, right? And they're not doing I mean, their job. If you do it as a point to prove, like, like what Bizzle's doing in Fortnite, yeah. he's now he's doing this playstyle to prove that this system is busted. He doesn't like the system, so he's doing this to prove something, right? Mm -hmm. Warden was definitely not doing a proof anything. It to He's going to try to get away with stuff yeah. to win. Is it, I feel like the integrity should lie on him, though, to not do this stuff. You know, like, Brody. sure, there's refs, but, like, how many how many other esports are there that like have refs really on point like that? So you're like, telling me you've never done something slightly shady to win? You're telling me that right now? Whether no, it's to, like pure... block your opponent's screen while you're playing games at home? Come on. When I was six, yeah, oh. of course I was like be knocking controllers out yeah. of people's hands and stuff. But I was six, <laughs> right? Now it's different. Yeah. Now people play from their own room, so I can't knock their controllers uh, out of their own hands. DDoS but, though. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, DDoS. Jeez. You like uh, hacking at home? <laughs> that's too much work. No, I don't know. I just feel, I feel like it, people will notice it. Now, if he keeps this up and keeps trying to get away with it, that's a little shady. No, but what about the chances that maybe, you know, as a coach, you're like in the back and you're watching, he's just like, there's a player there. Like, he's talking to himself, but he didn't realize that his comms were being broadcast. Hey, maybe that's a possible. I doubt it. That would be my story if I was trying to get away with it. I, yeah, right. It's you, your fault. You should cut the mics. What I the hell? I feel if like we actually look at it, it's, it's pretty clear what he's doing. But yeah, no, I mean, if there's admins there and you're paying the admins to do something, Yes. Then do something. Do Get some off your work. phone. It's they take the phones away from the players on stage. Take I mean, them away from the admins. 100%. Why do they have their phones? What are they, tweeting? Well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Our last story comes from the Call of Duty scene in every walk of life. People are always trying to quantify unmeasurable qualities with the term X Factor. Well, the good people at CODSTATS.GG have figured out how to do just that in the Call of Duty Pro scene. The idea is that the stats will measure the kill-death ratio of each player and determine their impact on the outcome of the map. Oh, Brody, regardless of how accurate this actually is, do you think, or how important do you think analytics are? The in X factor world? is absolutely real. Why do you think my tag is Leaf X? It's the Leaf X factor. No one calls you Leaf X. People call you Leaf. Actually, more people call me. Oh yeah. True. Oh, <laughs> I think my, I was gonna say Brody. Yeah. No. Drop the X because I don't have brain. any. I don't have any X factor. No X factor. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, um, this is a tricky one. So yeah. the way I look at it, coming from a, a, a commentator standpoint, is that um, the the stats are there not to prove anything. If you behold a player to stats, you may miss something. Yes. Um, and I know that happens with a lot of top level athletes in traditional sports too. Mm -hmm. You look at Gretzky, Jay Rice, any of those guys, they're not pulling the hardest stats in the combine and stuff, right? right? But they're still the best in their field because of something else, a lot mm -hmm. of creativity and stuff. And mm -hmm. stats can't track creative thinking yeah. like that. So when it comes to stats, we and Rocket League love stats because it's not as deep a meta as something like League of Legends or any other MOBAs, right? So yeah. there's less to talk about, so we use stats. Stats are there to help stories. Yes. Stats should be used to drive stories, and you, the story should be there first, and then use the stats to back up those stories. Yeah. But stats should not define a player, and you should not be building a roster based off of stats, yeah. too. That is that is where you go to a slippery slope of like uh, paying way too much atten attention to the yeah. numbers. 
The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? What nerds, you guys and your numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but it's 100% true. I know in League of Legends, a lot of people put priority in like shot calling, things mm -hmm. that you can't put a number to, right? So while these numbers are handy for, like you said, casters mm -hmm. and just analysis in general, you should not take it as like, I'm gonna draft the top KDA people because yeah, oftentimes yeah. that doesn't work. I played fantasy, it doesn't work always like that. Now, <laughs> KD is really, KD is really important yes. in Call of Duty. That's one of the stats that just, you know, it's almost meme worthy at this point. But mm -hmm. it's like it, it's like when uh like if I'm playing a game, if yeah. I'm playing Apex or something, you know, you look at you look at our jib guy Seb, his numbers, not impressive. But he's, he's gonna like do good on <laughs> he does good on our team though ah. because he carries all of our uh, accelerants for us, right? Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look it's useful. At you. No look numbers, but Useful. Don't you call them donkey when they carry all your stuff? <laughs> you donkey? That's rude. All right, he's let's not, move on. He's not. Sounds like, let's move on. It's time to check in with streamers and clip it. First up, we have a clip from the Xbox E3 presentation in Cyberpunk 2077, if you haven't heard, had a very special appearance. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> Breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> this, I don't. I didn't watch that movie for the. That's a oh, reference yeah, he, to something. He, he, Did she call me he? Yeah, sorry. She. <laughs> okay. I was thinking Marissa. That's why I said he. Oh, true. No. The mustache. She, she has not. She has not seen like. She doesn't understand. The I don't understand. Listen, the last couple of weeks, everyone's been on this Keanu train, and I'm like on the side being like, yeah, he's great, but for real, honestly, I have not seen any movie he's in other than The Matrix, and I've not watched a John Wick movie, which is apparently the hottest. Yeah, you need to watch some John Wicks. But like, I can't, listen, I get it, he's a good guy, but isn't he a little overhyped right now? No, look how humble he was when someone said breathtaking. He's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> right? And then he gave it back yeah. to everybody. Like, you guys are all amazing, too. I do that here at work, but you guys don't rave about me. No, but then you brag about it after. That's not humble. No, I are you kidding me? Are you telling me he's not bragging about it? You don't think? No. Did you watch the new movie he's in where he like plays a douchebag version yes, of himself? Yes, it was a parody of him. That's, I think that's what he's like in real life. Okay, wow. Wait, don't hate on me. <gasps> I'm taking your next one. You do not talk trash on Keanu Reeves. Next up, Trainwreck has an opinion on Jacob Bake Live's appearance. You know what's crazy? Jake's a good looking kid. But I think he's even better looking at this angle. Wait a second. You know what? That could be taken very weirdly. Okay, give me a second. Let me actually retract that. That could be taken very weirdly, okay? I'm not saying that, holy sh that would mean I'd be sucking. Erase that, okay? What? Well, he, do he does look good from that angle. I do not want to say anything <laughs> in regards to that. But to be <laughs> fair, we do, you know, like when we take social photos and stuff, I notice everyone has the wrangle. You hate your little chin thing. You always bring it up. It's good. <laughs> but yeah, he does poses like that, which doesn't make sense. That's like self-deprecating, right? That's his only, that's how, like, that's the only way you can see his chin if he does that's, that. Yeah, dude, yeah, I got five of them. Of them. Uh, but everyone has their good angles. Yeah, he's a everyone good looking guy. Everyone does this one. Is that, that's the angle of Of course, there. it slims you down. You just gotta know. I hate it when guys take photos from underneath like that, except for, I guess, him, because he seems to be good <laughs> Apparently looking Apparently that's his better it angle. It doesn't work for everyone, See, okay? I just take photos with zero lights on. That's the best photo I ever take. But what's the point of taking a photo? All right, anyways, it's time for the best time of the day where we scroll through the Twitters to check out what the pros are blessing us on our timeline because Marissa's not here, so let's trash talk her favorite genre yeah. of games with this tweet by the two-time champion himself, Dr. Disrespect. He says, Mobile gamers aren't real gamers. Preach! Uh oh! Preach! Uh oh! Preach it, doctor! <laughs> so Preach! You know, Marissa likes to start fights on Twitter all the time. Uh, do you think she can handle the doc if she took no, it on? No, she would get absolutely destroyed. Marissa, <laughs> I, like she is, uh, uh, she she has fire behind her, but she will lose this one if she tries to take on the doc. The doc is built <laughs> for this, and he is absolutely right. So you you're agree? not going to win it anyways. I'm not. I Someone else I saw made a good point. It's like E3 should have a separate. Uh, a separate uh, E3 just for mobile games. What are you saying? Why does that make sense? Mobile gamers, there's great games there too that aren't competitive, so they belong in the same <laughs> conference. You guys are just, people just love to hate. People love to hate, people love to create tears, people love to poop on others. Just let them, it's a game. We're all gamers, let us love each other. Not in that way, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Tyler said, brought a good point. They should what? do it like mobiles, like do what? it on the bus when you're going to E3 or like, in the breaks when you're in the bathrooms. What do you mean? Like That's where you can do your mobile game announcements. 
because that's oh, where they belong. Oh, the no. You were just, you were just <laughs> 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 Our next tweet comes from League of Legends player. I will dominate with a very opinionated take. I'm not even sure if we can show this. Can we do this? Let's yeah, do we'll it. show this. He says, <laughs> the F is right, balance team doing outside my building with a photo of dog poop. Yo, as someone that plays League, how true. I mean, he's not wrong. No, when I saw that picture, I thought it was a banana. I thought it was like an old banana. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. What? It looked old like it. Banana? And then there was like memes in League of Legends about Soraka being banana. Anyways, there's a whole, that's I was like, yeah, I we, got way too deep into it. We need to, we need to question her uh, dietary habits if that's what her bananas look like. I don't eat bananas <laughs> at all. No, clearly you're eating dog poop. No! What? <laughs> That doesn't even make sense. I don't get we it. We don't anyway. use logic on this show. Uh huh. Let's get to our last tweet. It's from your boy, our boy, everyone's boy. It's Golden Boy. He tweets There's a generation of kids that will never understand what it's like waiting in a line at midnight to pick up the hot new game and break night playing with your crew. Yo. True talk. More That's real preach. talk. Yo. That's real talk. Uh, Brady, what was the last game or last line you were in? Yo, I actually. So, <laughs> I've spent way too much money on like pre-orders back in the day. I don't anymore. Back in the day. Uh, but back in the day, uh, I, yeah, every Call of Duty. Every Call of Duty, I was getting special edition. I got all the RC cars, the night vision goggles, everything. Uh, and I would go to the midnight releases. Uh, I can't remember what the last one would have been, maybe Last of Us. Uh -huh. um, but I love midnight releases. It was cool. I mean, like, there's some weird people, but you got to hang out in line True. with other gamers that are just so stoked for this one thing. It's like going to an esports event, right? Everyone's yeah. there for one cool thing. So it was, it was cool to talk to people, anticipate what's going to come in the game, yeah. how long they're going to stay up playing it, and like. But it's you can sick. do that all online now. You can literally do that all online without that's leaving. What he, your that's what he's saying. Your phone. People are missing it, and I actually do miss it. But now I'm like not too much because I'm lazy and I do enjoy staying inside. But it was an experience that was really fun that people miss out on now. No, I had no friends, so I didn't really bother <laughs> going to All things, right, so. well, let's move on here because this time <laughs> we get to some crowd control. Let's kick off the week with some accidental darkness. Oh. Trevor Halligan's wife immediately did this when he brought home a painting. Huh? And now, wait a second. we know what happened to Bambi's mom. Wait a Mario second. Mario slipped on the banana and took her out. That is brilliant. I don't know if his wife did that on purpose, Road but camp? Trevor, if she did, she's a keeper. A real fact, I never watched Bambi. So this what is wrong <laughs> with you? So I feel nothing about this. I was never a Disney kid, guys. Not, neither am I, but there are some movies just and experiences in life that you just have. Yeah, well, I guess my parents didn't care about me. It was Keanu in it, is that why? <laughs> Keanu, <laughs> he just did everything. He was, Keanu he was Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> he was Bambi. This is a crossover. That's I don't why think I didn't we need. watch it. <laughs> All right, sometimes it amazes me how much music can actually change the tone of everything. So here's a new take on Death Stranding. <laughs> I mean, there's too much, like that wasn't Death Stranding. What do you mean was too much? It was Hun. Mario and Death Stranding. Okay, that was, you didn't, we didn't mention Mario before. I was just like, what's happened? Oh, the music. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long I'm out of mute. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's been a long weekend. Put, I didn't get it. I needed to watch that a couple of times. Who put me on the show with it? <laughs> I'm, Marissa, like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, right. don't hate me! Okay, it's time for one more post, and I'm sorry to make you think on a Monday, but it is time to choose wisely. Don't make me think. Train Simulator or Apple Pro, eight Apple Pro stands, both $8,000. Can we be real for a second? Are you freaking, there are 519, are you freaking for real? There are 519, I think it is DLCs total in Train Simulator. You're joking. And they total about $8,000. That is like more than my rent times, like two years. Or you could get how, eight aluminum stands from Apple. How, gaming is so expensive. If you had the 8,000, what would you spend it on? Uh, Keanu. <laughs> I would take you Keanu out save for a nice here? dinner, treat him good, because he deserves it. You know, he's my best friend now. I mean, yeah, I'm no. not going to argue that, but you're trying to save face there. Don't you're trying me. to, we'll let you get away with this time, but <laughs> only this time. Anyways, that's it for me to remember that you can always hit up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to on this show. Check out all our social stats, Squad State, for everything you support. Love you, Keanu.